everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm baking again. I'm baking a depression crazy cake. A depression era crazy cake. Yes. No milk, no eggs, and no butter. So come on into the kitchen and make the simple but delicious chocolate cake passed down from many, many grannies. And now I'm a granny, so let's go. Okay, so depression chocolate cake. I have um, a nine inch pan already greased. And I have uh, my oven set to 350. So let's make this. In a bowl, I am going to mix. Now, remember, I'm going to do this gluten free, but if you're going to do regular cake, just uh, use your, your regular flour. So I'm going to do one. and one half cups of flour. Then I'm going to do three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. And then I'm going to mix into that one cup of white sugar. Just stir that. My husband is wondering what on earth I'm doing. When I get in my mind to do something, I just get up and do it no matter what. That's me. We're waiting for a new dryer to come. It just seems like every time we turn around, one of our appliances dies. It's craziness, isn't it? Okay, and then I'm going to mix one teaspoon of baking soda. Of course, a bit of salt. one teaspoon of white vinegar. You know that all the recipes I do, I like it easy. If it's complicated, forget it. Because we live in a world that is too complicated already. So why add to our Rubbles. Okay, and five tablespoons of oil. I'm using canola oil, so whatever oil. So five, one, two, three, four, five. teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and to that I'm going to add, now you can use uh, a cup of water. And to this I'm, I added a little bit of instant coffee just to give it a different depth of flavor. So I'm just going to mix that in and then just stir it really well. Just mix that so there's no flour. Some of those recipes that came up through the depression 
were um, tried and true recipes. You know, they used what they had. They didn't, they couldn't go to the store, even though sometimes like we are now. I like to use recipes that I stock my cupboard with so I always have it on hand. Some cocoa and vanilla, your basic stuff. So I'm just mixing that till it's pretty smooth. No flour on the bottom. There's so many people these days that have stomach problems. I don't know why that has happened through the ages, but a lot of people that can't tolerate wheat and all that, I'm glad I'm not one of those people. But we have to recognize that there are people that have a lot of digestive problems and gluten-free is one of those things. All right, so it's pretty smooth. I'm going to pour this into my greased pan. And I'm going to put this in the oven for about 35 minutes. So my cake is finished. The crazy depression era cake. No eggs, no milk, no butter. Now I want you to see something. This one here was made with gluten-free flour and it's almost like it didn't rise. I wanted you to see the difference. This is more like a snacking cake. I repeated the same recipe, but used all purpose flour. So you can see that it rose better. Funny, it's even a little bit darker. But whatever one you decide to do, um, it would be just as delicious. Now, what I will do, let's cut into here. I just want you to see. And you know what? I'm giving this cake away to a neighbor or pieces of it to a neighbor. And you know what? It's a treat. She's gluten free, she's lactose free. And you know what? It's just a treat. You can see it's almost like a brownie. And what I will do is do that. And I have a little tiny, it's not fancy, a sifter, just so no lumps. And I think I'm gonna put some strawberries on the side. I'll give her a few pieces of that, and I think that she will truly, truly enjoy that. So I hope you give this a try. It was so easy, you saw me do it, and, um, and I showed you the difference between the two flowers. It's fun to experiment and see. So I'm gonna give this a try. Very good, delicious, not gritty, almost like a brownie. So give it a try, delicious from Granny's Era. God bless and have a great day.